Conjoined twins have piqued the interest of medical experts and the general public since their first recorded occurrence in 1864. However, humanity has long been aware of the presence of such odd situations. Diprosopus is an exceptionally rare and spectacular sort of conjoined twinning among many other types. It's also known as craniofacial duplication. It's a congenital disorder that causes a developing fetus to have a single trunk, normal limbs, and varying degrees of face feature duplication. Consider a body with two faces that are identical in every aspect. It's a condition that pushes the boundaries of what is thought to be possible and contradicts our standard understanding of human anatomy. At the heart of this perplexing phenomenon is the participation of a protein known as the sonic hedgehog protein and its linked genes. The sonic hedgehog protein, SHH, is important in signaling the pattern of craniofacial regions during the early stages of the embryonic development. It regulates the size of our facial features, acting as a conductor to orchestrate the symphony of our physical features. Excess SHH, on the other hand, promotes an abnormal growth of facial structures and the duplication of facial traits when this protein becomes erroneous. Embryos pare, a notable figure in medical history. Embryos pare, a notable figure in medical history whose work delved into the world of, believe it or not, monsters and prodigies, is actually credited with penning the first recorded reporting of Diprosopus. Our fascination with these extraordinary occurrences began with Pare's story from the 16th century. And since then, just 35 accounts of Diprosopus have appeared in the world's medical literature, emphasizing its rarity and elusiveness. And because of the rarity of each of these occurrences, it truly is a marvel unto itself. Unfortunately, those born with this condition have a very short lifespan, only 10 years on average. Because each person's time on earth is limited in minutes, this harsh reality adds a bittersweet layer to their individuality. In the grand scheme of things, diprosopus accounts for only 0.4% of human congenital abnormalities. It serves as a reminder that nature's brushstroke can be perplexing at times, and that our understanding of the human body is still evolving. It also acts as a memorial to our species' enormous diversity and complexity. These are Interesting Things with J.C.